enjoy that little introductory music there, music to soothe the soul, to inspire as well. And that's what we do here at Radio Maria Ireland, play inspiring, uplifting music of all genres and types. And always it's nice to have a little bit of sacred scripture included in music as well, to touch the soul all the more deeper as well. Thank you for joining me here on Radio Maria Ireland and on YouTube as well. Thanks again to William, to the fabulous work he's doing on those video productions. Very grateful for that. Do go back and have a look at some of those other videos. Do join us on the radio too and we put the details up on the screen here for you as to how you can contact us via email and uh, all the other means of social media and so on. You know yourself, you're busy surfing YouTube, you know all about these things. Now, can I come back to one of our listeners, one of our viewers in fact as well, who just uh, reflected a little on the video where I said words were not enough and I gave two visual clues as to how we might uh, progress in terms of speaking in relation to morality and relation to faith. And if you remember the two images that I had, one was the unborn child or model of the embryo and the other was Jesus. And I said, well, take it to the science and study the question or take it to the cross, take it to Jesus uh, and then begin to address the questions, those images uh, very powerful. But the question Sheila asked and addressed me said, well, that's all well and good for people who have faith. But what about people who have no faith who are, you know, th these things mean very little or nothing to them and a bit indifferent. Well, St. Bernadette had a great uh, expression, St. Bernadette of Lourdes, which is a great place of miracles, by the way, which I recommend to go and suss out or check out if you haven't already or know little about it. Go visit there, better still. Where St. Bernadette of Lourdes, uh, her response to the people who came to her, the kind of the naysayers and the critics and the skeptics, you know, was Our Lady really appearing to her? Were there really miracles associated with the shrine? Uh, what did Our Lady say? You know, did she really, or was she hallucinating? And St. Bernard said, well, to those who believe, no explanation is necessary, but to those who don't believe or refuse to believe, no explanation is possible. Maybe that's a little bit of what's uh, out there in the YouTube world. Maybe there's skeptics. So I think there's a lot of believers too and a lot of people searching. So let me send you on that search for those without faith. Here are some maybe stepping stones or directions which you might like to consider taking. And the first is very simple. It's kind of normal apologetics is, is you know, go shop around, find me something that works, find yourself something that works and come back and let me know. I used to say this to students in secondary school, teenagers especially, go off, do your own thing, but be honest in your quest and go search. And if you find something better, come back and let me know and I'll join. I'm ready to go. However, here's the catch. It's got to include resurrection from the dead and it's got to include everlasting life. I'm not buying it otherwise, but feel free, go search the world. Let me know your results and I'm happy to have a conversation with you. So following that quest that's in everyone's heart for everlasting life, for happiness, for fulfillment, for whatever else it takes. Everyone has that written in their hearts if they're honest enough to admit it. But ask the right questions and pursue the right people and look for the right answers and pursue it to the end and be open to the possibility of God and that Jesus is who he says he is and eternal life. Now, if you want some further stepping stones, we'll turn, as I suggested to Lourdes, to miracles. And there's any number of miracle stories that we can share and we can explore. And I want you to look at them and come back and explain them to me. Take Guadalupe, for example, in the Shroud of the Tilma of St. Juan Diego and come back and tell me that that's fake. And I'll, I'll buy your message if, if you can prove it to me. That's extraordinary. We'll, we'll do another video maybe on that another day. Go to Lourdes and check out the miracles. There's only 70, but these are definitively, categorically, without any hesitation, miracles beyond natural science. How have they come about? It's faith, faith. Uh, turn to Eucharistic miracles as another source of jaw-droppingly extraordinary stories of, of you know, the real presence of Jesus Christ, body, blood, soul and divinity, where the bread has turned into real flesh, heart tissue, living muscle, and the wine, consecrated wine at the Holy Mass has turned into living blood. You tell me. 
go knock on Padre Pio's door, Saint Pio now of Pietrelcina in Italy, who died in 1968, 50 years ago, and look at the, the stigmat, you know, the wounds of Christ that he bore in his hands and feet for 50 years. He didn't ever bled to death, bled a cupful of water every day, a cupful of blood every day, uh, never bled to death, never went, went uh, gangrenous or never uh, went septic, and the wounds remained open for 50 years, and then after 50 years suddenly disappeared. There's video and, and, and photographic evidence and umpteen doctor's reports to say this man had the wounds of Christ and they, they went and no scars after it. Extraordinary. His body, as far as I know, is incorrupt. Check that out, incorrupt bodies. So there's a long list of things. You, you can go down the road of out-of-body experience, near-death experience, lots of stuff on YouTube about that too. And, and okay, they're subjective occurrences, but again, there's something out there. So take some of these as starting points. You now come back to me, share with me your thoughts and ideas. I'd like to develop this conversation in all kinds of directions. Join me on air on the radio and let's keep this conversation going and come at me in the same way and we'll do the best we can to tease through and tease out questions in relation to faith and moral morality and to open a door maybe. Jesus is knocking on that door. He wants you to open it from the inside and to welcome and receive him. So may God bless you. Thank you for joining me. Great to have you as a viewer. Thank you for listening in as well. Do continue to journey with us and join us too. So let me pray God's blessing upon you, especially those, Lord, who are struggling in the area of faith and perhaps those who have lost sight of faith altogether. Open their hearts to receive the blessing of welcoming you. You are the way, the truth, and the life. And in you we find the fulfillment and longing of all that we hope for and dream for, which is eternal life, eternal love. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. Do please join us here at the studio. You can join us for Holy Mass at 10 o'clock every morning, Irish time, of course, here at St. Anthony's Business Park at Ballymount Road, Dublin 22. Do uh, like, share, follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and of course our website, radiomed.ie, where you can listen live either via Facebook and our website, and of course by downloading the app Radio Maria Ireland. We look forward to your company here on Radio Maria Ireland.